What's up guys, back to another video. Got something in my eye already. But uh, anyways, back to another video. We are going to be redoing this um, LSD that I got for the car. Um, if you guys saw the vlog, I went down and bought it from my friend Bobby. Uh, it's a 373 LSD. And since we just got done doing the five speed on the E30 um, and the new exhaust and everything, um, and it will be getting a stroker kit, um, I don't know, sometime in the coming years, maybe a year and a half from now or whatever, but um, we are going to be stroking the motor. So. We do have this LSD back here that I got in the other episode. If you didn't see it, let's go ahead and flip you around. All right, so here she is, uh, 373 LSD, like I said. Uh, this episode is basically just going to cover, um, we're gonna be stripping it, um, getting new bushing, obviously, getting the rear cover powder coated, uh, painting the body of the uh, the tra or of the uh, differential itself. I'll probably just do that black. Um, and then the rear cover is going to be gold, the same color as my other wheels and um, my valve cover and some other things. But uh, basically we're just gonna do that, just kind of offset it and make the uh, undercarriage look a little bit better. We are doing a f brand new set of uh, trailing arms as well, uh, reinforced, powder coated, uh, all the good stuff. So this is all going together at the same time. So these episodes all be pretty much at the same time. Um, but like I said, this episode is just going to be uh, draining this, uh, taking everything out of it, um, all the fluid, uh, let's see. He's gonna go ahead and powder coat that, um, like I said, and we're just gonna clean the differential and basically just refresh it in this episode. And then when the trailing arms are done, we will be installing both of them on the E30 at the same time. So just got done cleaning the car since it's over here in winter storage. Decided to uh, get my detailer bag, a uh, little Griot's garage bag and uh, clean the car. So these videos probably won't be po posted until March. It's like middle, middle of February right now, but we're gonna go ahead and get this cover off. Um, we're going to replace all the hardware back here just so it's all fresh new hardware. Uh, probably get a new speed sensor, new bushing, just gonna go OEM, nothing too crazy. Um, Cause I don't want to transfer any of that vibration into the car. Um, Cause I already have uh, the Condor motor mounts which definitely transfer some uh, vibration in the car. So I might change those back to stock since I just got the, uh, the riser mounts. But this isn't too bad a condition. Obviously nothing inside of the differential is bad. Um, it's just something I want to do and make her clean, as clean as we can get her. Get all the surface rust off of it and everything like that. So like I said, the body is going to be black. Uh, then the back cover is going to be gold with different uh, bolts on the rear. And uh, just try to make this unit as clean as we can. So when we put it together with the new trailing arms, uh, we're also going to get new uh, half shafts or whatever. So I just want to Take this, I'm gonna take it to the uh, the car wash, get it pressure washed as much as I can. Um, take the fluid out, remove this rear cover, get that bead blasted and powder coated. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like powder coated wise. And then we're gonna have to wait until it gets a little bit warmer or I'm gonna have to get like a heater or bring the LSD home and paint it inside the garage with some heat because it is uh, obviously cold outside because it's winter time. So I just wanna make sure the, the stuff works like it should. Um, oh, another reason we are doing this episode is we are going to do the, uh, the little upgrade that goes on for these studs. So give you a stud kit, come on, focus, give you a stud kit for this. So it's easier to install instead of putting the bolts down from the top of the subframe, which is annoying. So we're just going to do the sub, um, or the, uh, the stud kit upgrade, put those on there. So when we put everything together, it goes together really nicely and, uh, easily. So. Like I said, this is a smooth uh, LSD. Everything works fine. Paid a decent price for it. Um, just kind of taking a, a little bit of a hiatus on content, but I still want to do a little bit of things because I'm kind of getting back into it. Um, so let's get this stripped and uh, I'll show you what the inside of the differential looks like after we get the cover off and uh, all the fluid drained out of it. And then basically we're just going to put it back together, put the new seal, uh, put the new rear seal for the uh, rear cap or the rear cover and uh, fill it back up with some differential fluid. And then once the trailing arms are done and sometime in April, we can install all of this stuff together. So like I said, if you guys don't follow the build, uh, this is the E30, um, 89 sedan. Have big plans for it this year. Just haven't got around to uh, getting some stuff done because I'm uh, just doing a lot of other stuff, but it doesn't clean up too bad. We got her cleaned up, got the louvers on her. But anyways, on to the cleaning.
We've got the initial uh, knee grease. Uh, there's still some really caked on grease. because, like I said, it's a dirty unit for sure. So, uh, but I got most of like the surface grease off and the only thing I have to focus on is a little bit of caked spots. But like I said, I'm not too worried about it because he's going to blast it. I just wanted to get like all of the nasty like loose grease and uh stuff that wasn't you know it's not like caked in or whatever so i wanted to make sure i got that off for him so he doesn't have too much trouble trying to uh put it in the machine to do his blasting or whatever um so yeah once i get it back from blasting uh, i'll show you what it looks like and then he's going to do the rear cover so i'll show you what that looks like and then the next step will be painting the actual body um and I, like i said i am going to get new hardware for the rear uh cover so i'll get new stuff for that um i'll probably go and take probably going to take the uh the shafts out or the um the hubs out and put new bearings in and then replace that uh set of bolts as well um on the unit so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit more and then i'll send it to uh the shop to get blasted and then i'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes back and how the cover came out all right boys so uh got the differential back from uh blasting and everything i already got the uh the cover i'll show you that later but we're just here in storage and we are going to um, go ahead and do this um, painting because we're just going to paint it. We didn't get this powder coated, but we're using this um, self etching primer and this is going to be for like metal that is basically stripped like this. So it has the most adhesion. So it's going to come out like a little bit of like a little bit of I think it's like a greenish color and we used it on the transmission when we got uh, the transmission all done um for the e30 that's out there but like i said we're going to go ahead and do this real quick we're just going to do the primer today since it's memorial day and then i'll probably come back tomorrow night um and then put a few coats of paint on it um probably about three or four coats depending how much time i have and then i'll eventually end up doing the um clear coat on top of it but this is what we're starting off with first like i said rust-oleum uh, self-etching primer so that's what we're doing first. I've um, got the hubs all taped off, which like I said, I am going to be uh, getting new seals for those. Those are already on order, but um, we're just gonna go ahead and paint it right now. I'm not gonna film this process. I mean, it's just spray painting. So I'll show you what it looks like when it gets done being primered. All right, so just give you a little walk around. Like I said, it's gonna turn out green. That's what the, uh, the type of primer it is, the self etching primer or whatever. So this is what she's looking like. Nothing too special. Like I said, tomorrow uh, I'm probably going to come over and do the paint for it. We're just going to go with a simple gloss black because um, I'll make the rear cover pop, which I'll show you that after this little clip when I get home uh, in the sun and shit. As you can probably guess if you watch the channel, you already know what color it is. But um, yeah, this should be going in the car pretty soon. Like I said, all I need is a few more things for the control arms or the trailing arms, and then we can put it on this car. Um, but yeah. Then hopefully we can uh, get some uh, double spinny boys, you know what I mean? But anyways, like I said, I've had a 410 Open S or LSD in mind for years and years and years. Um, obviously since I've ever had the car. So this is definitely gonna be a, a different change for me, uh, especially going from five speed, um, being an open and then going to an LSD. But primer up, uh, that's four coats of primer and uh, we'll do four coats of paint which is gonna be just normal high heat paint for automotive. And then uh, we're gonna clear coat also with high, uh, high heat automotive clear coat or whatever, uh, just so it stays nice as it can and kind of gives it an extra layer of protection. But definitely came out nice having it blasted. You just have to be careful when you blast it um, because of all the sand or whatever that'll get in there. So like I said, these are gonna be coming out. So I'm gonna take those out, replace the seals behind it, replace all these bolts. I already have new bolts with the rear cover coming in. And um, yeah, then uh, this unit will be completed. So let me show you the cover real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go back where the sun is. Hopefully uh, the sun doesn't mess us up, but hopefully you can see it. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus or not. There we go. So it's just the same gold as I've done before on the car. Same gold as my wheels, valve cover, um all kinds of stuff so there we go so looks pretty cool nothing too fancy but it'll look cool under there even though you won't really see it but 
I have to uh, sand this because he didn't sand it or he didn't uh, know that you're not supposed to coat that or whatever so I got to sand it down but not a big deal like I said uh, waiting for the new hardware and the new gasket and everything and then we can press the bearing in or press the bushing in and yeah but she looks sick even though you don't see it I do like attention to detail so that's what we're going for this dupla color uh, 1k clear extreme gloss or whatever and then just normal uh, engine uh, semi-gloss black and then put the gloss on top of it so definitely looks nice um, and it'll look cool with the uh, the accent and gold color on the rear but the next step is going to be um, popping these new hardware in so um, once we get the, the unit back to the house actually we'll go ahead and put the the stud kit in on that and this part down here and then uh, take these shafts out put the new pinion seals in put the new cover on the back and uh, pretty much that's gonna be the end of this process so so yeah those I'm um, taking these bolts off probably as well and uh, getting new ones from those just some more zinc colored ones and then yeah that'll be the end of this little D LSD refresh episode also this would be a good uh, addition for when I do my stroker build because obviously having a 373 with a stroker is uh, ideal from what I was told from my friend Bobby so yeah she looks pretty sick I'm gonna take a couple pictures and uh, on to the next clip. All right, so LSD back, nice shiny gloss black, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna install these studs right now, which are from a Condor Speed Shop. Um, just makes it easier on install. So you install them up here and down here. So when you're just jacking the trains up, you don't have to go through and put the bolts on the top of the subframe and come down. So it makes it a lot easier to do the process. So gonna go ahead and uh, blue Loctite these Put them in, uh, torque them to 25 pounds. I'm just gonna tighten them up with the ratchet. Um, and then the nuts get a 40 pound torque on them. But yeah, uh, we're just gonna do that install real quick. And then we can install the rear cover. Uh, I got the gasket up here. Install that, I gotta get some um, silicone or whatever for this back so I can put that on and then put the gasket on. Um, some high tack or whatever. So I'll do that after that, and then we could take these pinion seals out and um, put the new pinion seals in, that'll be the last thing. Plus I got new cover bolts for the rear cover, so that's all fresh and new. And then, yeah, the LSD will be done. Just gotta order the uh, fluid for the install, but that'll pretty much be the end of this episode after we get everything put together and the new pinion seals in. But yeah, looking tons better than what it did. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the uh, rear cover on and then we'll do the pinion seals last. Uh, those are right here in these boxes, of course. Uh, but we're just gonna do this first. So just got some black RTV. Not even sure if autofocus is on.
Hay is for horses. What did you say? I said hay is for horses. You goon. Get in there, idiot. so this episode is done just gonna go ahead and throw this clip in here and then um go ahead and edit it so i can get it uploaded today and then do the trailing arm video tomorrow all right i know the mic is facing the other way but these are uh the seals for the shafts so i just got to push them in real quick um i just used the uh the little pull seal or the seal puller to take it out which i don't know where uh it went but basically um i'm just gonna put these in use the old um to start them use the old uh, seals to tap these in and just tap them in until they're uh, where they're supposed to be so pretty easy process on that but other than that um, I had to wait for them in the mail because I got the two of the pinion seals which go on the front half um, but yeah like I said this is the end of the episode just gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the car um, pretty soon I'm actually going over today to pick up the car so I'm just gonna put this clip in the video edit it and then um, render it and then upload it today <laughs> Um, and then pretty much after work, after I go work for a couple of hours, I'm going to go ahead and go over and grab the car. Um, it is running rough right now because the exhaust leak ended up fouling out the plugs. So it's pretty much misfiring, but got new plugs and everything. So we're going to be doing a lot of things in the next episode. Um, but like I said, basically the next episode is going to be installing the trailing arms, installing the LSD, and then putting everything back together and, uh, setting the camber and toe adjustments and all that good stuff. Also got new Rimflex gaskets because of the exhaust leak. Um, I used like cheap stock gaskets and one of the sides didn't um, didn't end up sealing. So um, I've had the exhaust leak for, let's get some better lighting. I've had the exhaust leak for maybe um, the last like four or 500 miles pretty much since I drove the car with the new exhaust on it. So um, actually probably not that, maybe about 300 miles because uh, I did get the exhaust later, but Trailing arms are next and all that good stuff. So I'll bring the car over and then we have some more content coming up. But these are gonna be like the main episodes doing this LSD and the uh, the trailer arms getting all that stuff together because that's probably gonna take me two or three days with my work schedule. And then um, we're gonna do some driving videos. I am gonna be doing a video here soon uh, with my friends. Basically, uh, they both have E30s. Um, but they've never driven it because they bought them as either non-running non projects or projects that need to be done. Um, so Ryan's almost close to getting his done. He has a few more weeks, but I still want to give him a ride in mind because he has a 318, so it's a little bit different. Um, and then Carson is building an early model with an S52, I believe. So 
Um, but he's, neither one of them have been um, inside of an E30 like driving or anything. They've just been, you know, working on their car. So that's gonna be another video that's coming up. Um, just like a little short vlog type video. video. And then uh, maybe some more detailing videos. And uh, yeah, still have the video for the Epsilons getting mounted. So I have to get the tires mounted for that. And then uh, we should be pretty much good for some more cinematics and everything this year. So uh, thanks for watching the video and the little rebuild series. Be sure to check out the trailing arm one tomorrow. And uh, peace.